you want to be a Democrat, great. No one's stopping you, but you have to pay reparations. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, if there's anybody that understands the politics of the left, you you were politics of the left, you right? You can say it. Okay, so he was a former, he's a reformed Democrat, right? I am too. You are as well. And see, I think the bigger question the is... Boy, yes. I think the... <laughs> doing an interview. Doing an interview. <laughs> I think the bigger... <laughs> I, I, I don't think the microphone in our face was, was enough of a clue. Look, I think that, you know, asking you guys what it took and, and your movement, the walk away movement, is what people need because that's the, that's the crux of it. People walk up and they go, were you ever a Democrat? You know, when did you convert? I go, I didn't. So I don't have the mentality to say this is what did it for me. Yeah. I can tell you understanding my history made me go, I would never be a Democrat. These people have, have co-opted this idea that they're, you know, the intolerant one. So I know I would never be. But I'm curious as to, you know, you started a movement that is growing and growing and growing. You know, what, yeah, I mean, look at it grow now. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what What do you think it is? I mean, you had a, a catharsis. What is it that you're hearing from all the people that are now following you? What is that catharsis? Well, it's, it's, this is kind of what we were just talking about a minute ago, which is that, one really great thing about you know what we're doing this movement with Walkaway is that the Democrats are actually doing half the work for us no, because yeah. you know it's like it's whether it's Kavanaugh we had a huge second wind of testimonials come into our campaign because of Kavanaugh just alone you know Jesse Smollett says <laughs> you're you're a reporter you're supposed to be neutral That's <laughs> it was a joke though it was a joke no Jesse Smollett you know he, he a hoax he, Jesse Smollett comes out with this outlandish story. Those of us on the right said something's not right here and immediately we start getting called racists and bigots and all these things for simply saying, look, there are holes in this story. But people, with every time something like this happens and the media conflates it and everything gets huge and blown out of proportion and then it ends up being a, a lie or it's just something uh, immoral. You know, the late term abortion bill, you know, things like this. People are getting, people are waking up. It's waking people up more and more and more all the time. I love people like you. I think, you know, any of us who are minorities, you know, in the conservative movement, who can cont continue to speak out and wake people up and get more and more people to see that they're being taken advantage of by the Democratic Party, you know, it, it, it's organically growing on its own. Well, let me ask you this. So th their, their hatred of us has always been that glue that's kept us together. Yeah. So do you see that sort of dissipating now that, okay, you're killing babies, you're, you're putting hoaxes together? You're right. You know, is that, is that sort of melting the glue? For the people who are, have, have not, well, yeah, all the time. Yeah, absolutely, all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, every time something gets pushed a little bit further and a little bit further, it's, I always say it's sort of like we're trying to grab the people, if you imagine like the tide coming in, we're trying to grab the people who are coming in with the tide because those ones are clear out in the middle of the ocean, they're not there yet, they're not ready. You know, the far extreme leftists, the people with the pink hair and the nose rings who are, you know, throwing blood on people's face and acid and whatever, we, they need a little more time. But the ones who are, who are getting pushed further and further to the edge, to the center, we're grabbing them because they're like, I don't recognize this party anymore. I don't recognize this movement. Yeah. You want to tell us about anything else that you're up to and where can we follow you? I am on Life, Liberty, and Levin Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox News for the full hour. I'm Mark Levin's guest. It's going to be amazing. We get to really take a lot of time and talk about Walk Away and uh, talk about the movement and things that are happening. Uh, right after that, we're doing a re-release of our documonial film, The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. If people go to youtube.com slash walkaway campaign they can watch our movie the great awakening breaking the chains of the democratic party it's an incredible 35 minute short film telling the walkaway testimonial stories of 20 black americans it's incredible